Okay, this one's going to cover a little more complex uh, diagram. We've got two voltages here. We've got 120 volts in the upper uh, part of the diagram, and then we've got a transformer that converts the 120 volts into 24 volts for the control circuits. And we've moved a lot of the controls down into the 24 volt circuit. Now, why do we use 24 volt circuit? Because the 24 volts is low enough that uh, you're probably not going to get electrocuted off of it. The wiring can be, uh, be lighter and uh, the controls are more accurate. So, let's see if we can figure out how this thing is going to work. Okay, now we're showing this pretty much the same way as it was before, but we're just showing where the power is going. Okay, it's not going through the system switch because the system switch is open through the fan motor to the fan switch, but the fan switch is open. And the transformer is not energized either, so there's nothing going on down below. Okay, with the system switch closed, you can see that that's the only switch I've closed. Now that's past power uh, up to the fan switch, and of course uh, the fan motor has power going through it. And the fan motor is not running because the fan switch is open. Uh, transformer is energized and using power. The 24 volt side is got power up to the thermostat and through the gas valve. So if we close the thermostat, then the gas valve will be energized. And as you can see by the, uh, the next change, we've got uh, the thermostat closed. Gas valve is energized, gas flows to the burners, uh, heat exchanger warms, fan switch closes, and then the fan motor is energized. And that completes the cycling of the uh, low voltage system.